This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 24. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. It shuts down the run. Plays lights out against the pass. And gets instant sacks all game. So if you want to see what overpowered defense I'm using in results like this, stick around after the intro. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll once again be using plays from my New Orleans Saints offense and multi-D defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top 10 comment. The defense that I'm going to be using all game is once again my 3-4 odd scheme. To me, this is the best defense in the game, but I will later be facing what a lot of people think is the meta defense this year in the DB Fire 2, so we will find out which defense is better. I already made several videos about this scheme so far this year, but the more I use this defense, the more I learn about it, as this defense is still evolving, and I will show you guys a lot of new plays and adjustments that make this defense even better. I'm also going to be using a brand new team though, not because I want to, but because I feel like I have to to prove a point. If you watch my channel, you might know that I use the Eagles in just about every gameplay, not because they are good, but because it's my favorite team in real life, as I've been in the Philadelphia area since I was two years old. But in my last two videos about this defense, I saw a lot of salty comments from people saying stuff like this, that these plays only work because the Eagles defense is that good. It definitely helps, but I'm going to prove today that the team you use or the players you have don't really matter, as I'm going to use a much worse team and still have the exact same results. The team that I'm going to use today is probably my second favorite team to use in the game in the Seattle Seahawks. But that's because of all the speed they have with their offensive weapons, as the rest of the team is just average at best. As the offensive line has a bunch of 70 overall players, but to me, that's something that I can work around. The defense is a different story, though, as they really don't have a lot of speed or highly rated players in the front seven, which is kind of important in this defense. In fact, every player here is in the 70 range or less, with the exception of Bobby Wagner, who is also the slowest player out of all of them. They do have Devin Bush, though, who is an 89 speed, so I put him at outside linebacker, hoping that he can get in unblocked, since his pass rush ability is so low since he's inside linebacker. The secondary is pretty good also, but none of the cornerbacks have any superstar abilities, which really comes in handy if you face a superstar receiver. So basically what I'm saying is that this team doesn't have any of the things that I usually look for on a defense, so no excuses. My first game is against the Titans, who have Derrick Henry and DeAndre Hopkins, who are both probably better than just about any player on my team. Before I get into the video though, if you guys want me to use your favorite team in a future video, let me know in the comment section or I will pretty much just go back to using my Eagles every Woo! single game. And if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button as it really helps out the channel. For my substitutions, I have realized recently that this defensive end gets unblocked a lot. So I want to make sure whoever plays this position is fast. When I was going through the depth chart, I noticed that some guy named Derek Hall had an 87 speed. And even though he's a lowly rated rookie, he is still the best option that I have for this spot. Coaching adjustments are very important for this defense to work as I changed just about every single one of these from default to something. I just made a video breaking down every advantage you can find in the coaching adjustments. So if you guys want to learn more, I'll have a link in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video. So stick around for that. I set my zone to match just in case I want to reset my drops before the play. I set my curl flats to 15 and my flats to 5. I also set my cornerback matchups to buy overall my ball in the air defense to play ball for more interceptions. I say the most important adjustment for last and that is setting auto alignment to base. I can't stress enough the importance of this setting as it will hide your defense pre-snap, making it more difficult for your opponent to read the adjustments, but even this will require some new adjustments that I make later in the video. One of the new adjustments that I am making in this scheme from time to time is calling some new plays to mix up my look just to make this defense less predictable as you can really make the same adjustments from any zone coverage in this entire formation on the next play though i choose the star of this scheme in the pinch bug zero as you can see this play is allowing less than three yards per play so this is my money play whenever i need something the setup for all these plays are the same regardless of coverage just pinch the entire defense then baseline so that the cornerbacks drop back but i noticed recently that this can give away the coverage as the safeties will man align enough to give this defense away so once again i will show you some new adjustments to improve this later in the video after that, I just use the blitzing middle linebacker down over the gap between the center and the guard to try to pull a blocker in my direction before dropping back into coverage to try to get the edge rushers off and free. And even though we don't have the Eagles speed or edge rushers, we get a sack from both sides anyway. He runs the hurry up, which is totally a sign of frustration. And this time we get to look where the defensive end gets in off unblocked. Now in 4th and 17, I could go with the prevent cover 4, but this defense is working, so I use it again as he forces the pass out early for a turnover on downs. 
In my next game, we're going to play one of the best teams in the league against division rival 49ers who beat the Seahawks three times last year while ending their season in the process. On offense, I'm going to be using my gun stack Y flex once again, but I am going to mostly be focusing on defense in this video. So if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, I'll once again have a link in the description as well as the on-screen pop-up at the end of the video. On the first play, he's in a light box that immediately looks like the DB fire too. I switched to an inside zone thinking that I should be able to run against this, but I don't have the lineman to take advantage of this smaller defense and he shuts me down. When I get back to the huddle, my suspicion are confirmed so even though he has a huge advantage with a much better team we're going to see who's using the best defensive play in the game on the next play i decide to pass since i didn't gain our yard running i chose to fade out on the next two plays so that i could hit the wheel route outside quickly before the pressure gets in and just like that i'm in scoring range in just two plays from here he switches to the spinner blitz and i hit the tight end to get inside the five before running it again to get down to the one from here i understand you like that defense but from here Back on defense, ain't shit changed as our blitzing linebacker gets around all world left tackle Trent Williams to disrupt the throw. On third and seven, I make a new adjustment by blitzing the other middle linebacker to get even more pressure, which is something that I started doing on critical downs. I still use her the same way, only with this setup, the running back is my responsibility, so I have to watch him at the start of the play. If he runs a route, I gotta go over and follow it. If he blocks, though, I can do whatever I want. On the next play, he blocks everyone except three receivers and runs all slants as Debo gets open for the first. On the next play after that, I switch to cover four with no blitz to try to confuse him, and even though he has a crosser that gets wide open, I cannot see, I'm legally blind. It confuses him perfectly since he doesn't see it and ends up throwing it out of bounds. I go back to the man zero blitz, but I noticed that when I aligned that the cornerbacks and the safeties go right in front of their receivers and make it look like a clear man zero blitz. And I think he's using that as a tell because he switches the crossers once again. From here, I switch it up once again to cover for quarters, but he beats that type of defense pretty easily every single time, which is fine by me because I'm only defending the end zone. This entire scheme is a bend but don't break philosophy. Yards don't really mean anything, but now that he's in the red zone, I can make some new adjustments to kick this defense up a notch. Coverage adjustments like playing underneath so that the receivers play tighter on these short routes, since there isn't enough field left for deep passes anyway. He tries to hit the running back underneath on me on the next play, but I'm all over it. <laughs> Your ass down. From here, since he is getting the ball out fast, I decide to make another new adjustment to help out in the flats, since the pressure isn't getting there anyways. So I put the outside linebackers in the hard flats. He decides to go for a fourth down, so I change my zone drop depth to 10 yards to defend the end zone better, and do it again, and nothing is open, as his receiver gets laid out in the end zone. Well, I, bet here. I can't run it, so I have to pass against this blitz, as I throw to the running back on the next play for a first before setting up the deep throw to get back into field goal range, going a perfect 5 for 5 so far on the game as zone really can't compete with man coverage in my opinion i pick up the first down to the running back once again before i force a bad pass into a nice user lurk to end the threat and the half Damn it! in the second half i start mixing up my coverages once again but none of these coverages are as good as the man zero blitz as he gets into my territory pretty fast i switch back to the pinch bug zero from here and the pressure is back surprise motherfucker on third and one he tries to run for it but he gets nothing before deciding to go for it on fourth down once again <laughs> Back in offense, I'm going to run the ball a little more against a small defense so I can see if I can get him out of it while also killing clock in the process. I don't stick with that long, though, as I go right back to the stack to get in the field goal range. There's not a lot of time left, so my goal is really just to kill the rest of the third quarter, and the clock is my biggest concern. As we really haven't had much trouble passing against this defense, inside the five, I try to run it from here, but I don't want to force anything this time, as a field goal should be enough to secure the game, so I play it safe and take the points. On defense, we keep with the random zones, but this isn't working, so once he gets back inside of field goal range, we go right back to the blitz. Only this time I get a face mask penalty, as I must have gotten my coaching adjustments mixed up, costing me big time. As I get another sack on the very next play, and what would have made it third and forever from outside of field goal range, now instead it's third and seven, and he takes a shot, but the coverage is there. How about new? And we give up our first points of the game with a field goal that never should have happened. What a pussy. We got a ball game now though, so I need to find some offense. I get into third and short before I take the false start penalty to push him back, and now I gotta punt it away. <laughs> but this game was always meant to come down to my defense anyways, and I get him into another fourth and short that he hasn't been converting all game. Only this time, his receiver gets free to keep hope alive. I switch to the zone to try to slow him down, but this never works. So once inside the red zone, I go back to the zero. Only now, I don't want him to know it anymore. So I stop base aligning because it looks like every time I did that, it was broadcasting that I was a man zero blitz. But he gets inside the 10 with under a minute left. He tries to hit the running back in the flat in the next play, but I ain't having that shit. Nope. And now we are back right where we've always been. Fourth and goal with the game on the line. Just like I said earlier, I blitz both linebackers in critical situations. And that's all, folks. <laughs> 
as my opponent pulls the ripcord. So that's that's the vid. If you guys want to see more from the offenses and defenses I was using in this video, I will once again have them popping up on screen. So just click the links as I'm sure to help with your game. And thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.